All right, designers. All right, illustrators. That's it. We, ha we had a good run. Pack it up. We gotta go. All right, that was a little dramatic. I might be exaggerating just a little bit, but Adobe did release crazy new software this week, and I think you guys, including me, need to take a look. Now, in Adobe Illustrator, you can apparently just type out a prompt, and the program is going to spit out vector art for you. So obviously, being a designer and an illustrator, I have to check this out, and I gotta show you guys exactly what I think, and if we should be scared or not. So without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is I just wanna check out how good this generative beta is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the rectangle tool, I'm gonna to grab my cursor, and I'm just gonna to go to generative beta. Uh, I know over here there's four different things. There's subject, scene, icon, or pattern. I'm gonna start off with a scene, and we're gonna say a mid-80s desert hotel. And we'll see what that gives us. So I'm gonna click generate. And it seems like this takes a little bit. I'll probably fast forward this in the future for this video, but I wanna show you guys how long this takes the first go. Looks like we're almost there and boom. So it gives me three different variations. I can kind of click through those. Not bad, not bad. Uh, first impression, it looks kind of like I did a vectorization of a JPEG or an image. You know, when you vectorize things with the software, it's not terrible. Um, but if I zoom in a little bit, it's, uh, it's, it's just okay. That, that's my first impression. Let's do, let's do it again. And, uh, let's give it a different thing. Let's say, let's do something a little bit simpler. Let's say outer space, uh, planets. And again, I got three different variations. This is actually pretty cool. I think these are a lot cooler. And let me zoom in. I'll show you guys that each layer is vector. So I can come in here and I can adjust, I can round, all that good stuff uh, that makes re vectors super cool. So what I wanna do next, I wanna grab my shape tool again. I'm gonna do a big box right here. And again, I'm gonna grab my selection tool, generate. This time I'm gonna select subject and I'm gonna do uh, spaceship. And what I wanna do is I wanna do the style picker. I wanna make sure it's the same style as my background. And again, I'm gonna click generate. So here we have three different options again. I actually really like this spaceship. I think this is cool. And you see it's its own layer. I can rotate it, uh, which is really cool. I think a big thing too is I can actually come in here and recolor it with the generative recolor. So obviously if I do this, it's not gonna match the background but I am going to be able to change that color with just a couple clicks, which is actually really crazy. So uh, I think that's super cool. All right, the last thing I want to try now is the pattern feature. So I'm going to, again, draw a big shape, grab my cursor, my selection tool, and I'm going to do pattern. This time I'm going to do uh, cactus plants. I think that could be fun. So I'm going to generate. All right, so here we have it. Uh, overall, this so far is actually the most impressed I've been with this uh, feature. Um, if I zoom out, this looks really awesome, honestly. I could totally see this going on some things like uh, some wallpaper, whatever. Also, I think the cool part about this is it comes up in here as, as one of my patterns. So I can just grab another shape. And there, there we have it, I have my pattern saved in there, which is super cool. I can use that for other pieces. Now, what I do want to call out, I, I saw it, I, you guys probably saw it earlier too, but I zoom in. Um, I think that's where some of these issues are lying. I'm trying to be optimistic, but I do want to be realistic. I think some of these things have some work. I think this is mind blowing and it's crazy where this is going, but definitely has some work. All right, now what I want to do is I want to compare Adobe's AI features to my own illustrations and just see what it can do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my rectangle tool. Again, whoops, still got that pattern in there, but that's no big deal. I'm gonna go to generate beta. We're gonna go to subject, and I'm gonna do a uh, simple flat vector illustration of a cassette tape with a bold outline. We'll say stroke and we're gonna generate, and I just wanna see how it compares to my illustrations. 
And again, we have three different options. I think I like, I think this one works the best. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do this uh, two other times with a couple of my illustrations, and then we're gonna take a deep dive and see what we think. All right, so I've got all of my items going side by side with my illustration versus Adobe's generative illustrations. And we're just gonna take a closer look. Uh, right off the bat, I'm gonna be honest, I like mine. I mean, obviously that might be a little biased because they're my illustrations, but I can tell that the ones on the left were made by a human. They had some concept, they had an idea. And the ones on the right, they just look like they took some JPEGs and they vectorized it. Now, I don't wanna talk bad about this. I think it's super early and it's actually really mind blowing this technology, honestly. Where it's going is just, it, it is a little frightening, honestly, how good it's gonna be. But for the time being, I mean, you can see it plain as day. I think illustrators are totally fine for the time being. Let's zoom in a little bit and we'll just see. So my first concern is these are made up of who knows how many hundreds of different random shapes. I mean, yes, they are vector, but I feel like the point of vector is simplicity. Um, these are not simple. They're a little chaotic, honestly. Um, I think these will work perfect for quick things, um, but for clean vector illustrations, I think we still have some, some work to do. Guys, I hope you liked today's video. I know it was a little bit different and I may have used a little bit of a clickbaity title, but I think it's important that we stay up to date on current technology when it comes to design and illustration. Like I said in the video, I don't think we're quite at the point where we should be terrified that computers are going to take our jobs. It is something that we should be aware of, but I don't think you should start looking for new jobs anytime soon. Honestly, I think the biggest takeaway from this video should be that we should be prepared to learn this stuff and be able to give it to our clients to make our life easier and to get the job done more efficiently. This is just my first impression and I wanted to make this video talking about this, but I wanna hear more about what you guys think about this. So if you're scared or if you're excited, let me know in the comments so we can talk about it and I can just learn more about what the world is feeling about this new generative AI in design and illustration. Well guys, I appreciate you and until the next one, peace.